Hey guys, uh, Greg Silverman here. This is my final piece at the High Art Museum. I'm trying to get this interesting picture behind me with a red neon light. You know, so it's been a fascinating tour, really cool. Um, just want to raise a few things. I want this to be a positive final message, but uh, you know, the world is what it is. We've got to be practical. Um, you'll recall that this market sell-off has been a long time in the offering, and we've often commented that uh, you know the global economy was slowing down and that. Uh, things weren't looking good beneath the surface, so it took a while for this one to come uh, to come and hit us, but hits us it has. And you also recall that um, the Wuhan virus actually emerged back in December of last year, and there wasn't much um, to say about it. You know, everyone thought it was confined to China for the time being. So um, the bullishness had to burn off uh, in quite a quite a substantial way before we became uh, super bearish. Um, that's 2020 hindsight, right? Not worth much. Um, you know, uh, China is 20% of the global GDP, so we'd be foolish to think that uh, its impact uh, is not going to be uh, huge in, on this virus. Um, central banks, especially the US, rushed to uh, drop rates by 50 basis points, so they might be out of bullets. Um, certainly stimulus, fiscal stimulus is a, is a route to go, and um, negative interest rates, who knows if that works. So uh, we're somewhat in uncharted territories. There is a lot of debt out there. There is a lot of leverage in the system. Um, and while interest rates might be low, credit risk has uh, peaked up and become higher. So I expect to see a large amount of, of distressed credit, especially since the private credit binge we've just been on. Um, <coughs> and of course, we're having external shocks like OPEC breaking their uh, agreements and sending oil. So uh, it's going to be a challenging time. Think about volatility, think about hedging, think about long short, think about gold. Um, there's many ways to insulate a portfolio, but uh, keep thinking and hang in there.